friends. I just wanted to connect with you today because I had an interesting question from one of our new members, Madeline Brooks, and I wanted to share um, what I put together for her. So her question was, um, she had a couple of different things. She's interested in um, making a lion, and so she wants to use to create patterning on the surface of the fabric to make the lion's stripes. Um, one of the questions she had is, can I use fabric Mod Podge on the surface to make the painting easier? And so I wanted to show you an example. I had actually made this, um, this was an early version of a toad that I made, um, and it's using the same fabric that we used to make toad in Wind in the Willows. Um, and you can see that the Mod Podge gives the felt kind of a, like, um, right out of the bog sort of look, you know, it's sort of wet and um, and a little bit, it's not really gummy, I mean, it's still flexible, um, but I think that's a better solution if you're making some kind of reptile and you really want it to have a realistic looking surface. Um, so anyhow, so that's the Mod Podge. So my other thought for her, let's take a look at these. Um, these are three different ways, three different versions of, um, tools to use to create the black stripes. So this is not um, um, a tiger stripe, but this is a carved eraser. And you could make stripe shapes using carved erasers with a little um, X-Acto knife. And this archival ink is interesting. Um, it's uh, acid-free, permanent, and waterproof. And those are definitely um, the kinds of things that you want um, for making these in case for for any reason the animal gets wet so it doesn't bleed. So um, so anyhow, I just made dots with this and you can darken the dots by, um, by hitting several times in the same spot um, and that'll deepen the color. So the next up is the, um, the micron pens that we use for a lot of the faces and you can definitely use these for stripes too without hairspray. Um, so this, I used a, what was that? It's not coming into focus. I think it's a zero five here for these stripes. And the thing about uh, using these uh, without, without the hairspray is that you just, you wanna go kind of lightly on the surface um, because so that they don't catch on the fiber and also so you don't ruin the nib uh, because they are pretty delicate. But if you use the larger sizes of them, uh, you should be able to color in the stripes. Um, so there is the Micron pen. You can also use the, um, the paint pens, the Unipasca. Um, I really like, let me just uh, clean off this nib. Uh, I really like this kind of nib. Um, for this. Uh, this is the point, uh, 0.7 millimeter, you can see right here it says pin type, and that has this little metal nib. Um, and you can use these as well. Um, same thing, you want to go kind of light on the surface. And, um, and these will dry a little bit stiffer, so the stripe will have more of a painted texture, but you can really get a very dark, um, a very dark black with these guys. So um, so anyhow, so that is it, but uh, I hope that helps. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for animals that you wanna do, um, these, these same techniques would work for a giraffe or a, a cheetah or anything like that. Uh, but if you wanna add some textures to your fur markings, um, give this a try. Okay, that's it for now, back to the doll, bye.